Dinko Dilnaiz. Amen. The word that I know is in the New Testament, and it's the book of Matthew. Chapter 28, verse 16 through 20. Amen. We're dealing with uh, four or five verses. Amen. Amen. We're dealing with four or five verses. And I want to thank the Lord for a pastor that he brought the word about the shepherds shepherding the flock. Manga Godosu Chacho Kali, the shepherd, the flock. I want to give you a, a little insight to say, Sabile Meko, Odil. The Mupa Palek, the Demo Dil, and Chijana Sotikaras. Uh, Manga, because uh, I'm in the photo, Nikoni Christians, this time, and uh, uh, so we took a step of faith on both of them, and uh, we're just a little minority comparing to four or five hundred people on the photo. And uh, and I came up with a great idea. I'm going to learn how to play the guitar, a guitar. And Sylvia could sing, Javane Romenga Kara, and Gilabazi Guitar, and we could witness. So I picked up a guitar, uh, we learned a few chords. Gilamane Romenga Kara, and uh, there's a little excitement going on. So, Yegis, as this went on for three or four months, Yegis, let me get that on, I'm practicing today. And all of a sudden, a Chinov Glossop. Finger cycling is Godote Mangusa, but Godote Mangaf to Tikaris. Mangaf then is a Vorba, like you tell. This is serious. Now, for about five, six months, I got my Anglele de Blessa. And Petranda Yek Bors serves the Lord. And uh, I'm going to The title of the message. Go. You see, kind of karaoke rodel. It's go. Amen. I want to read the scriptures. Mira Momanda of New Living Translation. I believe you have the King James today. Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 through 20, as Shunin Sumotol. Then the eleven disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you Amen. always. Amen. Amen. Even to the end of age. The 
Because Sion love me, Abraham, yeah, the Logitza. I want to minister to the pastors. I want to minister to the deacons. I want to minister to the worshipers, to the choir. And I want to minister to the rest of the church. Amen. Because uh, decide, in every single one of us, Amen. and as a pastor, I need the Devlisky Vorba. As a deacon, you need the word of God. As a choir member or a worshiper, you need the word of God. And the rest of us, because uh, to emptiness. Amen. And the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, today I am content because I'm feeling the presence of a mighty God. Hallelujah. Verse 16, we're told, and the 11 disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. They went to Galilee. Now, my concern was, what are they doing in Galilee? Because the angel of the Lord told them, go in Galilee, and there is where Jesus will meet you. Interesting. It's like uh, scriptures to kind of back it up. Matthew chapter 28, verse 7. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And he is going ahead of you to Galilee. And you will see him there. Remember what I have told you. Mark chapter 16, verse 7. Now go and tell his disciples, including Peter, that Jesus is going ahead of you in Galilee. And you will see him there, just as he told you before he died. Now, Chimmy Stone and I, there's 11 apostles, not counting Judas, this time we'll talk about that. It could have been 12, but he's not there, so we got 11. And the 11, if I could, they're going to Galilee. Now, Manda Sue, and this is a great point, Manda. If you want to meet with Jesus, you have to be obedient. Because if they didn't go to Galilee, they wouldn't be obedient. If they didn't go to Galilee, they would have been very, very, they would have displeased God, this time we'll talk about that. They were obedient. Now, I know about this meeting for the last several months. And we've been preparing ourselves for the last several months. And uh, I'm praying, Lord, uh, I want to be satisfied. I want to be full. And I want to know you, Lord. The appointed time to Simon that day. That in this meeting, God has met me. God has met you. And he wants to minister to the pastors, to the deacons, to the choir, worshipers, and to the rest of us. To know him. Are you with me? Let's read verse... 17. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. Some doubted. And when
when they saw him, they worshiped him. And some doubted. Now, Gunda Dulmanga, O Manuska Sas Naswadolish Kimurki, the leper, there were ten that God healed. I felt the yak of your papa, the dil naiz to dil. And he worshipped. And he worshipped. Where the other nine? And he worshipped. This felt the wo yak. And he worshipped. You see, not everybody will catch it. Only those who wants to go deeper, the Devlesa, will catch it. And, 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 and ministers, if I could, if you're just preaching a word, it's just gonna be preaching a word. Choir, if you're just singing the song, it's just gonna be a song. And he worshiped. Uh, the manus on the pampuri, they worship because they tell us of us and they worship. Galabanus, Abri Rama, Mike Data, the Venano Cristo, now crucified, buried, resurrected, and I'll be silent in there. Well, Divano manifested himself. God revealed himself. Now, God needs to reveal himself. Musai. Because we cannot stay in the old. It's, it's dry manna. Every has Maroka should stale. Nastis. God doesn't want stale manna. He wants new manna from the pastors. He wants new manna from you. I'll give him glory. And when they saw him, they worshiped him in verse 17. Now, Divano worship, if I could, it's, it's, it's bow uh, to adore. To worship, to prostrate. Now, uh, the disciples, if I could, Krupnoli, uh, the master has left, he's gone, he's not there anymore. And all of a sudden, he revealed himself, Skadio. And the disciples, if I could, when they seen him in obedience, they worshiped. Him. Now, I, 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 if I could, what really took place? Mongol worship is, and they worship him because they've seen the face of Jesus. Maybe they say, "What well, about that?" They, they bow down and they worship. Or maybe, if I could. They prostrated themselves because they worship the miracles. What really took place? I love personally the posture. Face down. Hallelujah. Because I below Christo, I see God below, and he revealed himself. I'm pretty sure they were down and out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're depressed. We give our lives for three and a half years, three months, I pass Dama Marotrao. He's not here anymore. And all of a sudden, Skadilo. Pretty sure. They prostrate themselves. Hallelujah.
But this um, you know, not fifty of Romania, but Igaje, we did a good number on Christianity. Yes, we did a good number on it. What we need is a relationship that we may know our living God. That's going to change the heart matter. Are you with me? Yes. And they worship. They worship. I, I kind of read a little bit, and I did a study. I don't know if uh, it means anything, but it, uh, the original word is to uh, is to come near, enroll. I'm going to give my soul. And that says you prostrate yourself, you, you come down. Don't need any proof. It's real. Amen. He's here. He wants to minister to me, Burbo, to you, to me, because I need him in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. title, go. Really quick, and uh, verse 18 of Philomenge, and Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. And Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Now that, uh, what is he saying? I've been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Um, John 17, verse 2. For you have given him authority over everyone. A Vedic translation will tell you, you have given him authority all, fl all, all the flesh. That means God has authority over us. The flesh, everyone. Okay, I understand. Praise God. I know he has authority over me. No matter which direction I go, I know that God is in charge of my life. Okay? And then, there's another verse. And this is what it says. First Peter chapter three, verse 22. Who is going into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject to him. Come on, say that. That means to Simon Tavgada that Jesus is in charge of my life. A Benga is done less done. Come on. Amen. Just when they hear the name, heavens submit the Simotov before him. So God is my source. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Fear not. I did not give you a fear of, of a, spirit of fear, a spirit of fear, but one of love, sound mind, and self-control. He's in charge of my life. No matter Gajal, no matter what I'm gonna do, no matter Gaisam, you could be in your business, pastors could be in your ministry, and guess what? God has the authority. Now, if we're worshiping choir, God has the authority. If I'm preaching from the pulpit, God has the authority. Amen. 
deacons, if you're helpers in the congregation, God has the authority. I'll tell you why. Because without him, we're nothing. Amen. Be less, but she's unconscious. Hallelujah. So God has the authority. It's his ministry. It's his church. It's his people. It's his sheep. We're just there to help and support. That's the way I like it. Hallelujah. If I'm in charge and, man, I'm just going to mess things up. Yep. But when he's in charge, we're going to take the leading and follow Hallelujah. the Holy Spirit. He has dominion. He rules. Verse 19, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we know it's the Great Commission. We know that it's everyone's responsibility and in what the gospel do. That's the commission. Go and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What I see there is Trinity. You're not going to find it in the Bible because there's nowhere in the Bible the whole Trinity. But I see three. And I see harmony. And I see them working together. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. One of Minister Belovica was soon to do a tour. It's there, and I want to minister. Um, of the book of John chapter 26 or chapter 14 verse 26 but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost uh, we're not dealing with a net we're not dealing with a thing we're not dealing with energy forces. <laughs> We're dealing with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He's your comforter. He's my comforter. He's the comforter. Write that down. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. John chapter 16 verse 17 but I tell you the truth it is to your advantage that I go away for if I do not go away the helper cannot come write down helper so he's the comforter he's the helper and trust me, I needed the comforter and the helper many times in my 30 years of ministry. We need the comforter and we need our helper. Romans chapter 8, verse 27. And he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is. Write down 
mind. So comforter, helper, mind. <laughs> Better than a computer. Age. I love when computers fail. <coughs> that means we're still in control. Mind. So we got comforter, helper, mind. A Vedic uh, scripture Motola and I, and I and I didn't have time to to find the verse. He has a will. The Holy Spirit has a will. Stop. Pastor's got it. First Corinthians 12. So what we have, we got a comforter, we got a helper, we have a mind, and we have his will. That the Holy Spirit has a personality. Manga subodo that osuntu duho sudel. Amen. The Holy Spirit knows the minds of us. So we're not dealing this with a, a force. We're, we're not dealing with an it. We're not dealing with a thing. We're dealing with that has a personality, that has a will, that has feelings, that has emotions. I want everyone to turn with me, please, to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. And I believe this is for the pastors, the deacons, the choir worshipers, and the rest of us. Everyone is important. The body of Christ is important. One is an eye, one is an ear, one is a nose, one is a hand. Every one of you is important in the body of Christ. And this is what it says. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what it really means is to make sorrow or make it sad. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Now, uh, can you go to verse 31, somebody? And I, I need like a New Living Translation. Is that pretty close to that? Can you read verse 31? Let all bitterness, anger, and wrath, shouting and slander be removed from you, along with all malice. 32. No, just 31. I need the new living. Okay. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. We could carry that as luggage. Rather it be in the ministry, rather it be in uh, deacons, Choir members, my mother proud that is here in the church. You see, we cannot be filled or be obedient if we're carrying that type of luggage. Choli, parimos, negazo, anger, jealousy, disciple tavgadia. We cannot be filled with the presence of God. Let me go this way too. If if we are angry, if we are jealous, disciple Tavgadah, and if we're carrying this load of rage, 
Наш час у нас лиде власку класу. We can. We can discern it. Because my body holy. Это мородел. Do not grieve the spirit of God. Na du kaven o swento duho, so du kavelis rage, angry, jealousy to Simotavera. So my slander. Slander. Hurting someone's reputation. Cute little story, and I need to share it to some. We moved back away many years ago. We lived in this school, and we got so very bucky, scabel, and there's about seventy-five men in the classroom, and I'm one of them. And we got so much to think. You know what? Say scabel to me, Pinga, from the book of Genesis. To the book of Revelations, Pinga. Pinga, I could make you one of the best students here in this school, Pinga. But I need to ask you something. And please, no offense, not for anyone here. This is what the Gajo said. If you don't have a calling, get out. Then I will to call him Pinga Janta. Now that pierced my heart. Pakalian Shuri again on the Monday. Thought it called Divano Kendal Gajo. If we don't have a calling, you can walk out of this building. And I remember there was about 75 people on Godorumo. Not one of us walked out of the room. If you have a calling, be obedient. Amen. You want to know what the will of God is? You want to know so say Voya the Debliski? I've been swindled. You want to know what the will of God is? Be set apart. Amen. You want to know what the will of God is? Be sanctified. Amen. You want to know what the will of God is? Be holy. Amen. And then I believe I could fulfill his purpose. Amen. He told them, go. I'm telling you, go. Amen. Because every single one of us is going to make the difference. Mm -hmm. It's the power of God. Amen. One more verse. I'm making a video because what I'm going to tell them. Second Timothy, chapter one, verse fourteen. Guard, protect through the Holy Spirit who dwells in us the treasure which He has been entrusted to you. A Vedic translation, Motolaminga, guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you, guard it with the help 
of the Holy Spirit Amen. who lives in us or in you or in me. Right. Treasures. Uh, I'm going to end here. Gajo uh, and uh, Carolina. Uh, he has property, I what is he property Subudbak. And Gidulibak, I begin for a measly dollar, a couple of dollars, uh, so he could pay his bills for Kinele Bulliva. And uh, everybody knows him, he's just a local and everybody knows him. Yeg is a Bak Baro. Big blue rock. I'm a good pajin philistine. As a surprise, Konichimangalo Bak. They don't want to pay five dollars. He'll let it go for two dollars. But nobody doesn't want it. So that would bak I put that as in the closet. A few years later, I will know what I can cook and you're examining the bak. It's an emerald. Mm. And that emerald is worth three million dollars. Wow. Could have had a chance to buy it for a few bucks. But he stashed it away. Don't stash away the treasure that is within you. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's worth more than five dollars, <coughs> million dollars, two million dollars, three million dollars, ten million dollars. And that's the treasure. Amen. That's the deposit to get in there. To the pastors, to the deacons, to the choir worshipers, to the rest of our brothers. Treasure. Sudo Amildeo. That's what I have to say. Give God.